Well, the thing that Vegas is doing with their, you know, the theme of effing around and finding out is they're going to the penalty box. Yeah. And if you do that, you will find out that our power play is hot. To, to me, that says that the Oilers are in Vegas' heads big time. I know, man. If Vegas yep. is going to the box and they were the least penalized team in the NHL, then they are just confused, honestly, about what's <laughs> They've happening. Lost their identity. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, who is showing up tonight uh, for Vegas? Is it like a mentally beaten down Vegas that's already kind of given in? Or are they going to find a way to bounce back after what happened in game two? Because that was in sheer embarrassment. Are they going to go Leafs or are they going to go Panthers? I think that's they a got that great dog question. In them, or do they got that little puppy in them? Yeah. Number three on my three big things. Uh, he gave us a handful of viral moments in game two. Uh, there was the blowing the kiss to the, <laughs> the fan. Mayor of Vegas. The mayor of Vegas, <laughs> sure. Uh, there's blowing the kiss to the fan. There's the old ground and pound on Keegan Colasar. And then there was the quote after F around find out. Evander Kane. I mean, we talked about McDavid waking up. Evander Kane didn't wake up. Vegas poked the bear. And he's yeah. ready to roll now. And I think what we saw last year is an Evander Kane that is consistently engaged is a big, big problem for the other team. And he had not been consistently engaged through, I would say, seven and a half games in the playoffs. I fully expect that to change going forward. Evander Kane is feeling himself. And Vegas yeah. let that happen. To say the least. And I would like to address the body punches that were going out on Twitter. As, like That is totally fine that people do that. And also, did nobody notice that Keegan Solisar jumped on Evander Kane first? Like, he wanted to fight him. And then, yeah, yeah obviously, the quote, yeah. But also, Evander Kane's punching equipment is probably not feeling too well, good. I mean, we kind of punched him right in the face multiple times. Like, body punches, come on. yeah, like, those are more respectable than head blows, yeah. right? Well, that's, yeah, when people are like, oh, that's, like, against the code or whatever. I'm like, what, you would have preferred him to go lefty and <laughs> yeah. beat him under the visor a hundred times? There like, is some famous uh, fights. Go to HockeyFights.com where there's been some body blows that have led to some uh, epic defeats. I loved it. Evander Kane, hopefully that was his big wake-up moment here in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game two against Vegas. It felt like more than just a win for the Edmonton Oilers. It felt like a they asserted their dominance. They took complete control of the series, I think. And, you know, momentum doesn't always carry over from game to game. I've always been a big proponent of that. Um, but that just felt Mental different. momentum. This is different, though, yeah. right? This is mm -hmm. different momentum.